hey guys and welcome back to another video so continuing with the express and nunjak series uh, so this is the third part of the video where i'll be showing you how you can uh, get started with uh, setting up nunjaks uh, with your express app so uh, as i've uh, shown you in the first two videos that how you can uh, how express uh, initially uh, supports uh, many templating engines such as uh, Nunjux, uh, EJS, um, then uh, um, there are many. You can definitely go and watch in the documentation part of Express. But in this video, I'll be uh, showing you how you can uh, start get started with Nunjux. So as in the previous video, I've shown you uh, how to set up middleware and uh, Start, get started with your routes like this like uh, uh, creating a, a routes folder and uh, we're creating routes from there and uh, yeah this one and this one right so that was the basic idea of uh, uh, middleware with express so in this video i'll be showing you how you can set up nunchuck so first of all open your folder uh, within that uh, you can just uh, go to google and uh, let me just type in npm nunjux so as you can see this is the module uh, npm nunjux and you can just copy this and uh, hit over here so this is a dependency which is a external dependency you don't get it with express so uh, after doing that you can just copy from here and uh, paste it once you hit the enter and uh, all uh, all the necessary uh, dependencies required for nunjax will be installed as you will see in your package.json so you will see in, with express you will also see nunjax included so this is how you can install nunjux in an express app make sure you are in the root or directory of your project as i am in this right now so after installing the dependency uh, make sure you have a views folder uh, within your root directory like you are seeing over here so Nunjux, uh, the way it works is that it uh, looks for a views folder within your root directory. Uh, so it assumes that within that views folder, uh, there will be certain templates. So over here, you can see within the views folder and within the pages folder, uh, there are different uh, templates like this, like this and etc so within that views folder uh, it will look for the templates of your uh, website so this is like a config part you have to initially write this to for nunjux and what is going to be the view engine for nunjux so you can use this app.set and uh, this is uh, the express part view engine it is going to be html so this all files are html so it will look for specifically html dot extensions right so this are the two part you need to mention in your app.js and also you need to require nunjux like i've done over here and uh, the next part over here is the index dot html so the main uh, idea of uh, nunjux is that it uh, contributes a lot of uh, ideas and methods from uh, classes and inheritance and uh, that kind of a templating format if you have previously worked on jinja templating with django or some other framework uh, it similarly uses that technique or structure to uh, render your template through the server side so uh, within that views folder you need to have a parent folder parent html file which is index.html so this is that uh, file 
and all the CSS uh, requirements, CSS external CSS files or fonts or whatever script tags you are using for your entire project, you need to uh, mention that in this uh, head section or below the body like uh, this one. So all the necessary uh, dependencies like external links or CSS, whatever you require for your website, like the entire website, not just the single page, the entire website, you just need to mention this in this single file, which is known as, which is known as uh, index uh, .html. So after using all the necessary CSS and uh, script tags uh, within your uh, uh, index.html file uh, you can use this specific uh, templating format for nunjux to use certain uh, pages such as about and home in our case right so in, you need to mention this so this is a templating format that nunjux uses i'll just mention some good uh, documentations around it you can definitely watch that i'll link those in the description below and you can uh, this is basically inherited in certain pages like uh, about and home as you can see but before um, using that block entire block to render what uh, your page specific uh, specifically needs to render you need to use this tag also that it is extending all the properties from index.html right so this is like your root uh, HTML file and all the uh, necessary things required for your um, website is inherited from this specific file only. So once you declare this block within your body, make sure to use this also like extend from pages and index.html or nunjux automatically detects this uh, if you are using nunjux for your express app. So mention that before writing whatever you need to within your blog and uh, proceed further. So as we have seen in the previous video that how you're using middlewares, right? So in the previous video, we were using respond or send file. So whatever uh, that uh, HTML file was, it was a uh, entirely static thing, right? So let's move to this about file, right? So this was the function. I'll just mention it over here and see response.send file. So this was the function which we are using previously when you are just sending static data, right? But now in this uh, nunjux part, you, we, you can use a response.render and the first argument it takes is the HTML uh, file, which is about, you need to mention uh, the pages, the just the pages folder because the rest part is been uh, carried by this particular config. So it will look for HTML files within the views folder. So already you are mentioning that over here. So make sure you have all your HTML files within the views folder, right? After that, you have to just mention the pages folder and the HTML file name. The second argument which take uh, which it takes is that uh, a JavaScript uh, JavaScript object. It, it is like a JSON format, like a dot operator and things like that. Uh, you can uh, have this property about and within that about uh, you will have heading and image. So this is uh, entirely a dynamic data. You are uh, sending this data on um, rendering time right so this is not static previously in the middleware part you were we were using uh, static data entirely static like just sending the file but in this we are using this property and sending two uh, values within that the heading and the image heading is simply a mm, text and the image is just a url of an image similarly for the home we are doing the same make sure you have your uh, routes perfectly mentioned over here or, or else it will give an error. So this is the property and heading and image. So uh, over here, you can also send a uh, dynamic data from an API endpoint, which we are going to use in the next video, right? So this is just like a demonstration of a uh, uh, static data, which I'm giving over here and rendering things, right? So home, 
dot heading so this is the home page home route and over here you can see within the block uh, content section in this particular uh, pattern you can uh, inject the data uh, in your h1 tag or p tag or whatever um, image tag over here you you're using for your website right so home dot heading or home dot image is like a dot operator which are using for uh, json or javascript object so this is that so home dot heading uh, over here home dot heading heading has a property of normal text like it says a uh, hello welcome to home page and an image is a url so over here we are providing the source image dot home dot image right so this is the kind of pattern that uh, uh, nunjux uses it is similarly to the jinja jinja templating and uh, yeah it is pretty straightforward uh, you just need to mention the object or the data object format coming from an endpoint over here in this uh, second parameter which i'll show you in the next video yep uh, let me just show you the output of this so the server has started and let me just take you to there local host 4000 so as you can see welcome hello welcome to home page uh, so i have uh, rendered this hello welcome to home page and this is the url of that image right now let's just move to about route and just type in about so hello welcome to about page and uh, this is that url right so this is the idea behind uh, nunjux how you can dynamically take data from anywhere it can be a any source or a json file or an api endpoint uh, for from where you're taking your data right so this is the basic idea of nunjux and how you can blend it with the express app right let me just uh, change this welcome to home page right i'm just changing this and uh, hello okay dexter's express page right so let's just close this over and start this again and uh, this is the about page right so as you can see hello ok dexter express page so this is like the dynamic data you can change it over here but you don't have to um, change you don't have to make any changes in your template it will directly take those values from your route uh, parameter and uh, feed it into this right so you can uh, uh, use an api endpoint in this case it is better right so i'll just show you this in the previous video how you can do that yep uh, this was uh, it for this video guys if you have any questions concerns or queries regarding this templating format or anything related to this you can definitely uh, mail me or comment down below so yeah the code will be available in the description do check that out and uh, i'll put some good documentation of those uh, nunjux and express as well uh, in the description below so yeah this was it for this video guys thanks for watching